Hey, hey, poker peeps. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Sky with Smart Poker Study. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create my stripped down version of a HUD, the KISS HUD, which you can see right here on the screen. And I'm going to show you how to do it in under five minutes. The KISS HUD has 10 different elements to it. Now, I'm not going to tell you exactly how to use each of the elements to exploit your opponents, not in this video at least. This video is about all about building the HUD. If you want to actually learn how to use these stats, check out my KISS HUD podcast, episode 291, and there's a link to the show notes right up there that you can click right now. But let's get to building. The easiest way to build a HUD, go to Edit HUD Profiles. You want to often take an existing HUD within your database and just edit it. Uh, because a lot of the stats are already there that you might need. So choose the default HUD within Poker Tracker 4, uh, duplicate profile, and just call it the KISS HUD. You can make this for cash or tournaments, up to you. We're doing cash today. Now, note editor and number of hands up top. Here's the notes. We're just going to click and drag the existing statistic there. So we have it. VPIP is on the next line, PFR next to that. Below that, we have 3-bet and then fold to 3-bet. We've got the three bet here, fold to three bets missing. We'll add it in a little bit. C bet is next below it, fold to flop C bet below that. Now these other ones, hey, they are useful, but we don't need them for the KISS HUD. We're trying to make things as simple as possible. Now you can see as we move stats, it changed the layout of the HUD right here. Now I'm not a big fan of these diagonals for separators. I just don't feel I don't need them. So just delete that, arrange in grid so it makes everything nice and streamlined or I guess not streamlined, but just puts everything in a nice order for you. Now let's go ahead and add the missing stat. You're going to hit plus, add statistic, and then type in a part of the stat. We're looking for 3-bet. Now when it comes to fold to 3-bet, I don't use fold to preflop 3-bet. I use fold to preflop 3-bet after raising because it's more useful. That's what I care about when somebody raises and then how often they fold, not when they just fold to any preflop 3-bet. Double click it, so bam, it's there. And while we're here, let's get the two CBET related stats. First is CBET on the turn, double click it, it was added right there. And the next is fold to turn CBET, right there. Double click it, shabang. We've got all our 10 stats, but they're not positioned the way we want. CBET turn goes to the right of CBET flop, fold to turn, right of C or right of fold to flop, right? Bam, there we are. Now. In case you need a little bit of help, sometimes these prefixes like three bet right here, uh, it helps you remember that, hey, this is the three bet stat. So fold to preflop three bet. Let's give this a prefix of F three bet. Hit that, bam, there it is. On the turn, let's give it a prefix of a capital T so that we know it's the turn. And then once again, fold to turn C bet, capital T, so we know it's the turn right there. Bam, there it is, nice and simple, your HUD has been developed. And once again, it's the KISS HUD. We're gonna hit OK. Now let's apply it to one of our tables. You're gonna do this exact same thing whether you're uh, actually playing in the game or uh, reviewing hands. Double click it, up here the little poker tracker symbol, click that, change profile, go down to your KISS HUD, and that's the smart HUD right there. But bam, now the HUD has been updated and there it is for you. And this is actually the HUD that you're gonna see in the show notes page uh, uh, for the episode number 291. If you wanna set this profile as your default, so every time you open up a six max table or every time you play a six max table, once you choose your profile, go to set profile as default for this table type. Click that, bam, every time we open this, actually, let me demonstrate it, close it, and then open it again. Hey, there's the KISS HUD. You can place the HUDs everywhere that you want them, like this. Hit, save, layout, and then bam, there's all your, your HUDs. Now maybe you don't like this average stack because we still have time, hey, we might as well do this. You don't like this average stack, it doesn't tell you any information, you don't need that, right? So let's go here, open up the HUD once again. Scroll down to the KISS HUD that you just created, and then table stats right here. Eh, we don't really need it. Let's just delete it. Are you sure you want to delete the group table stats? Oh, yeah, baby. Hit apply. Go back to your table that you had open. Takes a little time to refresh here. And then you'll see once these refresh, bam, the table stats is gone. But the HUD stats for all the players still remains. 
Alrighty, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your eyeballs on this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this and if you think you learned a little something about creating HUDs, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.